Hello and welcome to the License Global Live interview series at Brand Licensing Europe 2023. I'm here with Andrew Carley, Director of Global Licensing at BBC Studios. Andrew, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. First day, first few hours, but so far so good. It's great. Excellent. Now, everyone's probably over these last few hours been talking to you about this the moment you walked in the room. So I want to talk about the blue dog in the room, which is Bluey. Um, how is this going? Like, it's vastly, phenomenally successful and for numerous reasons as to why um how's the brand licensing side of everything going it's phenomenal is the only way to describe it um it's easy to forget though it, it launched in 2019 product wise in australia so it's already four years into the licensing program but we're at a place now where we're seeing true global presence um in fact i totted up the other day how many territories we've got product in and we're now up to 49 territories um, so it's yeah it's hugely hugely exciting lots and lots of work obviously going on behind the scenes but yeah and I think it's probably fair to say the success has taken most of us by surprise it's a fantastic show but you'd never dream of the success that we're seeing in every territory where we go into so yeah so fantastic. I think when it first came out, I think what really resonated with people is that as a parent, I can t stand testament to this, is that it's truly multi-generational. So there's, I would say it's like, it's as much for kids as it is for parents. It's like Bandit Healer has taught me a lot about being a dad. Um, so what is it about the makeup and DNA of this show and this story that has proven or provided this kind of level of success? I think Joe Brum, the, the writer, um, has taken the DNA of the show or the basis of the DNA, DNA of the show from his experiences of bringing up his children and I, that's what shines through so you're absolutely right it talks to multiple levels um, adults, children, boy, girl um, whether you're a parent, a carer or, or unrelated to looking after children so yeah it speaks at multiple levels in a manner that I've never seen on a preschool show and I'm not just saying that because I work on it it's I, I've never seen it in 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 this manner ever and I'd have never dreamt it could have achieved what it's achieved when we were when I first started working on it we knew we could see the storytelling could resonate with adults there's a humor there that resonates with adults but it's one thing seeing it, it's another thing seeing it actually born out in reality, not just in his home market of Australia or even the US, in every single territory. It just cuts through cultural norms, cuts through regions. It, yeah, it's remarkable. Yeah, it really it, is. It, res it resonates universally from what I can tell. Yeah. Um, but it's not just about Bluey. I mean, BBC Studios is a huge portfolio of intellectual properties. So what are some of the key showcases that you have here at the show? What are some of the key pillars for 2024 for you? So you're quite right, a huge portfolio. Um, what we recognize is some of that portfolio will resonate in the world of licensing and consumer products and some won't. So I think that's, that's, the, that's the first um, thing that we need to work on. But with that, hey Dougie, it's been around for 10 years now. Um, evergreen property, um, still as popular as it ever was. Still new content being generated. Um, great i've almost called it a british icon but it, it again that's another show that resonates with adults in a slightly different way um it's almost anarchic in a in a way and i, I think parents love it for that it, it's uh yeah it works at a level that perhaps a lot of other preschool shows don't um so yeah hey dougie uh, we love it um doctor who huge amount of excitement around doctor who with the, with disney who are on board now um, sitting behind the development of the show with the launch next year of the new series, the specials this year, um, and then on into to, to 2025. And um, so all sorts of plans sitting behind that. Um, first time we've ever had on Doctor Who a global broadcaster, um, a single global broadcaster in, in the form of Disney or Disney Plus. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of plans going on in the background there. Um, and then... Outside of that, lots of new shows in the pipeline. Super Tato um, launched on TV relatively recently on CBeebies as well as in China. 
and we're getting lots of interest on that. It's a, a, another show that resonates with adult and children. Um, and then it, there's the shows like Earth and Top Gear, and it's all of which have their place in the market to, to a greater or lesser degree. So incredibly diverse portfolio um, that doesn't come without its challenges in terms of how do you allocate the time, but what a lovely position to be in. Absolutely. Well, I mean, that leads me quite nicely into the next question, which is because of the versatility of this portfolio, you've got everything from Hey Dougie to Doctor Who and BBC Earth. So how do you adapt the brand licensing or brand extension strategies in order to maintain that impact, in order to maintain that authenticity, in order to create engagement? It comes back to understanding what the business wants to achieve out of each of those shows. Are we comfortable with the licensing program, the CP program? What do we want to achieve out of that licensing program? What are the ambitions? And then based on that, we'll cut our cloth accordingly. Um, but ultimately it comes down to the content of the show, expectations and ambitions. And at times there's other stakeholders at play as well. So to bear that in mind, um, but it, yeah, we, we can adapt um, accordingly and we do adapt accordingly. Um, and what Bluey's given us is the opportunity to truly build out a, a global footprint um, in a manner perhaps that we haven't had the opportunity to do in the past. I mean, go back far enough to Teletubbies, yes, but that's a very, very long time ago. So what we're, what we're able to do now with Bluey is build on that global footprint and then where the other opportunities are building in other shows and on other genre, we can build out on that and springboard off that, off that infrastructure. Um, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for. Um, thank you so much for joining us um, and thank you so much for watching our interview with Andrew Carley. Uh, stick with us, we're gonna be delivering news and insights across brand licensing in Europe. Until then, remember, it starts here.